Okay, we're going to talk about telling time to five minute increments, and this is 7.4a. There's going to be another part of this lesson in 7.4b where we tell time to the minute. So you're going to want to watch the video after this one too, okay? So each time the minute hand moves to the next little line, a minute has gone by. And each time the minute hand moves to a different number, five minutes went by. So here's the face of a clock. That's what we call it. That's the face. And then we have the hands, don't we? We have a longer minute hand and a shorter hour hand that doesn't quite reach very far. Every time we move to a new number, five minutes has gone by. And we can find the minutes after or past the hour. We skip count by fives, and we can find the minutes after the hour. If the minute hand is pointing at the one, it's five minutes past, or five minutes after. Each little line is a minute, so that's one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, five. See? Then it would go six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so each number, we skip count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and when it gets back up to here, that's a 60, and there's 60 minutes in one hour. See? So we can read the minute hand when it's pointing to one of these numbers by skip counting by five. Okay? So we talked about this in the last video when the minute hand is pointing to the 12 and the hour hand is pointing to a number, then that's the o'clock. It's pointing to the 8 for the hour hand, so this is 8 o'clock. And on an analog clock, it would be point, the minute hand would be pointing to the 12, and the hour hand would be pointing to the 8. And on a digital clock, you would see an 8, then these two dots, which are a colon, and two zeros. That's 8 o'clock. When it's 5 minutes after 8, it would be 8.05 on a digital clock. We've got the hour hand pointing to the 8 and the minute hand pointing to the 1 because that would be 5 minutes. Remember? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. All right? For 10 minutes after 8, the minute hand would be pointing on the 2. That would be 8, 10 on a digital clock. See? An 8, a 1, and a 0. For 15 minutes after 8, the minute hand would point on the 3, 5, 10, 15. And it would be written as an 8, then a colon, and a 1, and a 5 on a digital clock. For 20 minutes after 8, the minute hand would be pointing on the 4, 5, 10, 15, 20. And the hour hand would slowly start moving away from the 8. See? It's starting to move in the middle here. And that would be an 8, a 2, and a 0 for 8.20. 20 minutes after 8. For 25 minutes after 8, the minute hand is pointing on the 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And the hour hand is starting to move more towards the middle in between the 8 and the 9 now. That's 8.25, 25 minutes after 8. Now we learned this in the last video when the minute hand is pointing to the 6, it's, and the hour hand is in between the 8 and the 9, it's 8.30. It's the hour that is the smaller one that it just passed, so that would be the 8. It hasn't gotten to 9 yet. It's 8.30. We could also say it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It's 30 minutes after 8, or 30 minutes past 8. Some people even say it's half past 8, because 30 and 30 makes 60, and that's an hour, 60 minutes. So if it's 30 minutes past 8, it's a half hour past 8. See that? It's 8.30. Oh, I know this can be confusing, but stick with me, okay? Now, when the minute hand is pointing to the 7, it's now 35 minutes after 8. This was 30 minutes after 8. Now we add another 5, and it's 35 minutes after 8. See? 5 more. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Skip counting by 5s. And see how the hour hand is in between the 8 and the 9? 
When it's 40 minutes after 8, the minute hand is pointing to the 8. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. It's 40 minutes after 8. And the hour hand is starting to get closer and closer to the 9. Remember from the last video, when this minute hand gets up to the top, it will be 9. All right, let's see what happens with 45. Now the minute hand is pointing to the 9. That's 45 minutes after 8. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. It's 45 minutes after 8, or we could say it's 8.45 if it were a digital clock. All right. When the minute hand is pointing to the 10, now it's 8.50. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. It's 50 minutes after 8. See that? Can you look at this and tell how many more minutes it'll be until it'll be 9 o'clock? You could count these and see how many minutes it would be until it's 9 o'clock, couldn't you? We're going to talk about that in a future video. All right? Now it's on the 11. The minute hand is pointing to the 11. It's 55 minutes after 8. We added 5 minutes to this one when it moved from the 10 to the 11. You can skip count by 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. It's 55 minutes after 8. It's 8 55. When five more minutes goes by and the minute hand goes up to the 12, now it's 9 o'clock. It's a 9 and a 0 and a 0. And we can do it all over again. 905, 910, 915, 920, 925, 930. See? We'll go all the way around up till 10 o'clock and then we could do 1005, 1010, 1015. See? All right, so let's take a look at my big clock here. Where does the minute hand point at 825? So we know we can skip count each number by fives. Right now it's at 8 o'clock. So where would this minute hand be pointing for 825? Well, let's count by fives. If it goes to the 1, that's 5 minutes. When it goes to the 10 minute mark, that's on the 2, see? 5 minutes, 10 minutes. The 15 minute mark is on the 3. The 20 minute mark is on the 4. So, to be at 25 minutes after 8, the minute hand would be pointing on the 5. See? See that? That's 825. And see how the hour hand is moving away from the 8 and it's getting in between the 8 and the 9? Because we know it happens. When the minute hand gets to the 6, that would be 8.30, wouldn't it? And then it really is right in the middle, right? And as the minute hand keeps going, because it's connected to the hour hand, when the minute hand gets back up to the 12, now it's 9 o'clock, see? As the minute hand goes around, it's connected with a gear to the hour hand that makes the hour hand move very slowly, see? So we can skip count by fives. When it's on the 1, it's 5. When it's on the 2, it's a 10. Now, can you see the pattern for skip counting? Look at the 1's place. It goes 5, 0, 5, 0, 5, 0. See that? Look at the 10's place. We have a 1 and a 1, a 2 and a 2, a 3 and a 3, a 4 and a 4, a 5 and a 5. So it's very easy to skip count by 5's. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 45, 50, 55. See? I bet you could skip count by fives. Let's try some problem solving. Now, what time does the movie start? It says that this is when it starts. So we need to find out about what time it starts. Does it start at about 8 o'clock or about 8.30? If the movie starts at 8.25, is that closer to 8 o'clock or 8.30? We see the minute hands on the 5. Well, that's not very close to the 12. It would have to be on the 12 to be o'clock, wouldn't it? It's very close to the 6. So, if you said 8.30, you're right. It's a lot closer to 8.30 than it is to 8 o'clock. How about this? What time does the chess club start? 
It starts at 3.55, but about what time is that? Is that about 3.30 or is that about 4 o'clock? See the minute hand? It's on the 11. Which is it closer to? 3.30 or 4 o'clock? Well, if the minute hand were on the 12, it would be 4 o'clock, wouldn't it? So if you said 4 o'clock because it's so close to the 12, then you'd be right. So we can look at a clock in the minute hand and see the minute hand is very close to a time and say, it's almost 4 o'clock. You don't have to say the couple of minutes that are here. You could if you wanted to, but you could tell someone if they said, what time is it? You could say, it's almost 4 o'clock. See? It's about 4 o'clock. All right? Or whatever the o'clock is. Okay? All right. In our next video, 7.4b, I'm going to talk about telling time to the minute. So if the minute hand is not pointing to a number, if it's in between, I'll show you how to tell time. Okay? Keep trying. I'm proud of you. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.